y'all, it's Brandy McElhaney with your wad for today. Um, a lot of you who know me know that about a month ago I did my first fitness competition. What that looked like, it was about 12 weeks of pretty strenuous training, a very strict diet, lots of care products, of course. <clears throat> um, and it was a blast, I had so much fun. But one of my friends, we were talking afterward, and she said, I just don't know how you did it. How did you go 12 whole weeks without, you know, cookies and pizza and sweets and kind of caught me off guard because you know, the, the way I saw it, I wasn't, I didn't set this goal so that I could say, you know what, I went 12 weeks without cookies and pizza. No, I set this goal so I could say, hey, I, I did a competition, something I wanted to do forever. And, you know, I did it. I finally did it. Um, and that kind of got me thinking, you know, what, what are you focused on in your out of care business? Are you focused on cookies and pizza? Or are you focused on that competition? Are you focused on, you know, the fact that probably half the people that you talk to this pay period are going to say no. And about half of those that say yes, probably not going to order this period. And about half of those that do say yes may not stay on product. Are you focused on that? Because those numbers kind of suck. But, you know, if you, if you do this over and over and over again and give them great customer service, maybe they will. Focus on that. Are you focused on, you know, spending money to go to success school, spending money on a hotel? Are you focused on making money at, after, you know, being being at success school and being around all those people and hearing all these great stories? You know, are you focused on having to, you know, have a mixer at your house? Or are you focused on all the people that could actually, you know, really benefit and come into your business because of that mixer? So what? where is your focus? Is your focus on your purpose or is your focus on all that garbage that doesn't matter that's going to come at you anyway? You know, are you focused on, you know, what it takes to get there or are you focused on just being there? Are you focused on, you know, reaching your purpose or are you more focused on, woe is me, I have to, you know, actually work to get there? You know, so think about that. I mean, and I mean really think about that. You know, evaluate your purpose and see is it strong enough to, to make it through that? And if it's not, you know, find one that is. Find something that, you know, makes you get out of the, makes you want to get out of the bed in the morning and just, and go for it. If you don't quite know that yet, you know, it's smart to build a business anyway. You know, maybe you don't have your purpose, you know, set in stone yet, but you're really excited about the business. That's fine. You know, get your business going because at some point your purpose is going to pop up out of nowhere. And the good news is you've already built your business. You know, it's already there waiting on you. You've already got that. That plan B that could even be a plan A if you wanted it to, just waiting on you. So, you know, that's my encouragement this week is, you know, where, where is your focus? You know, stop focusing on the cookies and the pizza, guys. Start focusing on what matters. Get to success school, you know. Get there, you know, no matter what it takes. Just, you know, get to success school. Use the success system. Focus on your goals. Stop focusing on the garbage. So that's all I got for y'all today. Y'all have a great weekend. Um, and I hope, I will, I will see you all successful.